as a religious sister. How I discovered my religious life or my vocation. As a child, I was having this feelings in me that was telling me there's something special I have to do, but then I didn't know until now. It was a surprise to me, even those around me. It was disturbing. As I grow up and I have opportunity to be born in a Catholic home, participate in all activities of the Catholic Church, I was growing up being disturbed but didn't know. I didn't have the opportunity to know the religious sisters, any religious uh, uh, congregation, because as a teenager, I grew up in the northern part of Nigeria. We are mostly a Muslim. In my secondary school, I wasn't. I didn't have the opportunity, but I know that right me, right inside me, something is coming up. Then, one day, my cousin went for vacation, came back, and was telling us how he encountered some congregation, sisters. I was so interested, I was listening, asking so many questions, and my heart was beating that maybe this is where I belong. But another thought in me was telling me, no, the life is for extraordinary people. For me, I'm just an ordinary person, mischievous and naughty, and an ordinary young girl. But continued until I don't think I didn't have the courage, or so ashamed that I don't have the courage to tell my family or tell anybody what was disturbing me. Until one day I had the opportunity, the courage, and told my family, behold, nobody was nobody supported me. But with prayer from the uh, uh, one religious uh, activity I was attending, through prayer, I was able to tell my parish place. And there I started my journey, finding the Kradisa Mission Sisters from the ambassador. I wrote to them and I was called and I was accepted. And right now I'm happy to be, to do the will of God, to realize that thing that is have burning in me, the same, to give it to God and to serve.